flame inside it burns the brightest. The door is all behind, but the door is in the palm of the hands. The way to burn. The warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. The teams then, Villarreal against Schalke. I'm Peter Turi and this is Jim Beglin. Hi Peter, it's great to be here. And here we go. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Well, Klasian Huntelaar could be the danger man. He may not have progressed to be one of the world's very best, but he's an extremely accomplished finisher from inside and outside the box. A, a Dutchman with, uh, with damage on his mind here. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. It's a long forward pass. Looks to slip it through. It's there to get rid. They've done it! Well, that's not going to count. And we go again. Oh, his goal-scoring celebrations are going to be cut short. The flag was up for offside, even if the referee didn't spot it straight away. Disappointment and relief on either side. Nothing doing. Over this. Shoots! Oh, he's really drilled it. Got just about enough on that, but all at the expense of a corner. Well, he's making his point pretty forcefully. I can imagine some fairly colourful language down there. Well, those defenders should be blaming themselves, really. Uh, that was very, very slack work from them, and he has good reason to be angry. And that, that defence really does need to be berated. Tries a through ball. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. It is deadlocked. Ostasic. Soltado and Soltado and it's a goal Soldado did so well with that interception but what followed was a pretty lethal counter attack that took seconds to convert that's as sharp as it gets believe me Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Oh, they've done well to take the lead there, but they can't let their opponents back in. Have to stay focused. That's surely a foul free kick. So, they got the only goal to make it 1-0. Hervides. 
Puntala. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Villarreal are ahead here, it has been a good half for them. Soldado. Soldado hits it! No mistake! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Real take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. There is the half-time whistle. Villarreal ahead 2-0 and they are looking good. It's the start of the second half. Now the pass. Pervides. Passes it through. Soldado. Chance! Goes for the cross. Villarreal with this two-goal lead. They're certainly looking much the more assured side. Now it's Huntelaar. Looks like a good ball through. Well read, he sorted that out. Takes aim with a cross. Away from immediate danger. That had to be more accurate. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Got offside that time. It's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Oh, look, it's always a tricky game to play in squeezing up and trying to catch the opposition offside, but that worked really well then. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Hervedes gives chase, tries a through ball. Decent ball. In with a header! Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. Oh, that could so easily have been game over. There would have been no way back from three behind. And the 
through ball is intercepted. Hervides. Now it's Soltado. Villarreal still 2 0 up and looking now to see it through. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. He's made sure that that won't get through. And it's Soldado. It's a loose ball. Shot a goal! They are rampant! Surely now, beyond all doubt. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Yeah, anything that finds its way into the net via the framework of the goal is most difficult for a keeper to reach. He was never going to get it. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Villarreal take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Who's going to make this theirs? Looks to slip it through, and he's there to cut it out. There is the final whistle. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, tactically, they looked as if they got that spot on. I think when you push up at the back to the extent they did, then there must be a pressure on the ball ahead of things. Otherwise, your whole system is going to break down. And I think there was, there was a good discipline about what they did, really, in affecting that. Thanks to Jim alongside me, and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you.